Yeah. Here, I can throw my fan back in my bag. That pipe must be over 40 years old. This stream's not as good as it should be. <laughs> Welcome to Costa Rica. Um, here with my daughter on a uh, Costa Rican field trip, Spanish trip. Today's agenda is zip lining. I'm trying to brave myself up to zip line. We'll see. Um, we are uh, just outside of. La Fortuna. La Fortuna. I know I'm saying it wrong, but La Fortuna um, is probably about a mile north or south of us here. And the trip's going real good. Things are going sprite. I'm looking at the bus here if you're wondering. Everybody's in there eating breakfast. Um, not going to eat breakfast. Had a big meal last night for supper. Early mornings. I thought I'd get used to them by now. <laughs> We're okay though. They're going to get done eating breakfast. Uh, me and Tater Todd are going to run back to the rooms. And then uh, we're going to jump on this bus and go zip lining. Brave, Kurt. Be brave. You pray a lot when you're in those shuttles. You really do. They know the roads like the back of their back of their hand because they go up and down them hundreds of times a day. Oh, you sit down, hang on, and shut up. The volcano this morning is completely covered by clouds. Huh. That bird that's squawking right now, it's a very loud one. It does that all night. It's pretty cool. Here's some tips for if you're going to come to Costa Rica. Pack up as much food as you can in your suitcase before you come. Because the food is okay. But it can be kind of rough on you. And bring, I say I can't preach this enough, bring as much caffeine as possible in the wise of pop. If you don't drink coffee, you're SOL. So they have that pop. No, it's like trying to find gold. Um, Dr. Pepper doesn't exist. Um, it's a Pepsi, they have Pepsi. But it's only at a, a few, few places. You won't find it here, there, and everywhere. So bring plenty of that if you need caffeine in the mornings and you don't drink coffee. Bring plenty of pop. Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, you know what I mean. So right now, number one thing you're gonna do is go and use the restroom. Number two, you need to sign up a waiver just like yesterday's at the waterfall. Number three, very important, anybody with long hair, low ponytail because of the helmet and because the air will blow your hair close to their body. It's kind of it's kind of tight on the nether regions. It's kind of really tight. It's kind of pinchy. One wrong move and we're going to be hearing some really bad screaming. Yeah, yeah. I thought it said Cheetos too. Your sister did that. What do you do? You just you get on a rope and you swing out. You have to hold on by yourself. I got all that. Use a fin. 
we just finished up the zip line. <laughs> there was about 10, 10, 9 or 10 zip lines we went down. 200 year old trees were up in. I can't show you any of it, any of it until we get pictures. I didn't have a camera that could do it. Eco Glide, I think is the name of this place that we're at right now. We're only like two miles away from where I started the video. Oh my gosh, guys, I really wish. So right now you guys went from hearing me you know, talking or whatever, not excited. And then you see me just super excited right now. You're thinking, well, that was a quick jump. Um, the volcano, the volcano we've been talking about, we're up in there and that was just phenomenal. We are in trees that were 200 years old. Here, I'm making everybody sick or just stay put right there. We were in trees that were over 200 years old. Um, long zip lines, like over, easily over a football field long, fast ones. Oh, you're flying you are hauling and there was probably I want to say nine I heard somebody say there's nine lines up there or maybe our ass maybe I'll put it at the bottom of the screen or whatnot that was awesome I, I said awesome enough okay so right now we're gonna load back onto the bus and we're gonna go for a little hike it's a suspended bridge hike more heights nor more tallness but I'm hoping it gets us into the jungle and I'm really hoping it's better than the waterfall the waterfall yesterday in yesterday's video was was beautiful but there was 2,000 people there I was really hoping that it was going to be a little bit more secluded so I'm hoping this bridge thing we're gonna do is a little bit more secluded and if it's not it's a tourist area which is awesome this is tourism is their number one um, income in Costa Rica it's tourists gringos like me Did you hear that? <laughs> Fernando's saying, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> uh, Fernando, that, that's, a, that's a tight corner, big dog. You know how to pray? Start now, Fernando Vasquez. Oh. We're spinning, we're spinning. We're spinning, there you go. <laughs> nice. Fernando. <laughs> It was spinning. The bus was spinning. Yeah, it was Actually, spinning. today, that was another big concern. I had a bad coming on this big bus here because if it is wet, it's really wild sometimes. But the good thing is, Fernando is a pro. <laughs> now, the view of the volcano on the right. I just want you to concentrate on the views and not the air, right? Not the road. <laughs> You've got enough yeah. adrenaline uh, so this morning. Yeah. He's still moving. Plenty of room. Amazing, Fernando. Plenty of room, Fernando. Piece of cake. I think this was our fire right yeah, here. I believe this is the one in trouble because yeah. the, the logo, the guy. Hey, son, can I pet it? I said don't. <laughs> Look at that tail, man. He's just looking for food. Yeah, he's looking for a snack. Sorry, I have none. Oh, I have my bag. You might get right in the bag, yeah. Watch your bag. Be like, <laughs> he's not bashful. I want to pet it. Looks like 
All right, this is supposed to be a swinging bridge. Um, this place is another tourist kind of place, but like I said earlier, it's a tourist kind of country, which is awesome. I, I love that they have stuff like this. Realistically, if I went to the rainforest, I'd probably, uh, and had to walk a dirt trail, I'd probably end up not so good. This, uh, this isn't pleasant. They didn't, he... <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't warn us about, uh, he said swinging bridges. I guess I probably should have known that we'd be 5,000 feet in the air. Or 100, maybe 50 feet. But it feels like 5,000. Well, now you tell me that. I'm three quarters of the way across it, and then you tell me. <laughs> Hi, Columba. Hi. I'll let you guys zoom in on it if you guys want to from your phones or computers. All right, one time. See? Okay. Don't stop walking on it, it makes it worse. He's fine. Forever, we're gonna have words yeah, about this. You gotta go, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right. I'll take my backpack now. In situations like this, it's just so much easier just to throw in a voiceover because things get hectic. I don't tell you guys what's going on. So the situation here is Taylor just got too hot. She got overheated and she has heat stroke right now. We tried to cool her down as much as possible and to no prevail we could not get her cooled down enough or enough liquid in her so one of the security running around on the trail called in the ems they brought the stretcher in we carried her up to a waiting car as far as we could to the car could get to her put her in the car and then i stayed with her we traveled over to their well basically their air conditioned gringo center we called it to where us tourists get too hot on trails and this is where we cooled down stayed nice and cool now it's going to be time to head back to the hotel i've been looking for air conditioning the whole darn trip good air conditioning not bad an early oh my god buffet dinner where at the hotel at six o'clock listen Adelante mantenimiento. Señor, me puede llevar con el ya 20 los 26. We gotta wait for a, a key. They only give you one key. I have a roommate. It's another dad that comes. It's a chaperone. And they are all in town except for like four or five of us. He may have forgotten about me. It's been a little bit. AC's just on the other side of this door. I'm from Iowa. And July in Iowa is like the most humidity I think I've ever felt. I've been to Florida and I know you guys have humidity, but Iowa, with all the corn we have, that really gives you humidity. I ain't ever felt humidity like this before. But I will say, there's no wind. Troy would be in heaven here. There's absolutely no wind, not a drop. I haven't felt wind, well, since we left St. Uh, was it wasn't St. Joe, our first city in the previous videos, that was windy there. But since we've gotten here to the actual rainforest or jungle, I haven't felt any wind and Troy would love that. Apparently it's just been blowing like crazy at home. We go to the beach.
in two days. Maybe the volcano has some cherry coke. Volcano, do you have any cherry coke? I will sacrifice the coke for a cherry coke or even a Dr. Pepper. You can have it. Here, take it. I will sacrifice it. No? See, see. I can't get in my room. Yep, right there. Oh, air conditioning, you know. What? What are you doing now, Paige? What? What are you doing now? Oh, I just got back from peeing. Okay. Here's your snacks. Do you have these? Get the hell away from mine. I bought these for me. You bought like three packs. Four, to be exact. I want these. They're so good. You can blame this on Leah's hair. She gave me one. I bought four. We had to buy snacks for when we get oh, into the... I didn't know the... what they were, and you... I was scared. Well, here, I got these. You got them! You have enough. You can go with them. Oh, your guys' room is very clean. Yes, because there's two very organized men in it. Lou is very organized, Our, and I have mine over there. Every room I've been is kind of a hot mess. Yeah. And that's and it's all girl rooms. Well, here we go again with another one of those silly voiceovers that I started doing here. I can see why people travel, have travel vlogs and which not. They use the voiceover thing because you never know when you're going to hit that record button and when you're going to actually tell your viewers what's going on. We had a nice relaxing soak in the one of the pools of many pools here. Sat in a hot springs for a little bit. I went down a water slide and of course hurt the tailbone a little more again, which was not smart. Well, tomorrow we're going to have some more fun. So tune in for the next video. Guys, thanks for watching, and as always, you all stay safe.